Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add SharePoint site assets to a Microsoft team. Here is what I'm talking about. So I have this um, HR team, and this happens to be obviously a Microsoft 365 group. Uh, and because it's a Microsoft 365 group, it uh, consists of various assets. There is a site, a SharePoint site, there is an Outlook calendar, there is planner all connected together through Microsoft 365 Group. We also have Microsoft Teams. Here's the team that's again attached to that site, attached to that Microsoft 365 Group. So what I would like to do is add a few assets from this site to one of my channels in the same team. All right, maybe, you know, here I have a bunch of pages, a bunch of content, document libraries, some maybe Microsoft lists. I want to also I want those assets to be visible in a team as well. So here is how to do it. It's actually quite easy. What you need to do is navigate to Microsoft Teams. Here is the channel. Click the plus sign. All right. And the app you want to add, the tab you want to add is this SharePoint uh, tab over here. All right. And essentially, by default, it actually offers you to add the various assets from the same site that's connected to this team. So you see it recommends you know, to add me certain things, but it actually lists them out. Whatever I have on my site, all the different pages, all the different lists, all the different document libraries. All right. So maybe let's add, um, I don't know, a home page. All right. Here we go. All right. So. Here we go. I just added a pretty much embedded a page. Again, I could embed a given library, a given uh, Microsoft list. I just chose a page. Uh, let me show you one more thing. All right. Um, let's add this app again. Um, so by default, it offers me to add, you know, the contents from the site. Right. This is the contents. You know, essentially all the list libraries pages I have on the site. However, you can also specify any other URL as well. So if you want to grab a library or a list or a page from any other SharePoint site, you can actually do so. So for example, just to show you, just to prove the point, I'm going to go and navigate to one of my other sites and I'm going to maybe grab this announcement right here, this particular page, I want to embed it right here. Now, very important, you have to paste the exact URL, all right, point into that asset. So if it's a page, you know, just copy the entire URL. If it's a library, again, copy the entire URL, it, not just uh, the URL of the site, copy the URL uh, of that particular asset. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hit save and let's see what happens. It should embed my page, my announcement over here, uh, right as um, pretty much another tab in the uh, Microsoft team. All right, so um, that's all I really wanted to show you. Hopefully you learned a new trick today. Uh, in my opinion, very convenient feature uh, from user adoption perspective, right? If you have content on your site and if you live in Teams, you might want to surface it up quite easily uh, using this uh, feature. Um, thank you very much for listening. Hopefully, again, you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.